We're outside of Peterborough at Duro at the farm of Andy Bullering today and we're talking about the Kawartha Farm Stewardship Project and I'm joined with Pat Learmont of the Farm Stewardship Project and Andy and Mike Gibbs of the Lakeland Alliance. Uh, Pat, let's start with you. Let's talk a little bit about what the Kawartha Farm Stewardship Project is all about. Kawartha Farm Stewardship Collaborative is a group of 11 organizations and um, we have been working together now for two or three years and we, it includes uh, four conservation authorities, a couple of the local stewardship councils, and uh, four nonprofits, plus the Soil and Crop Improvement Association, the Environmental Farm Plan. And we work together to try and um, deliver funding and technical assistance to farmers so that they can do farm stewardship projects on their farms. Okay. Now, what sort of projects do you do? Mostly the collaborative does projects that will improve water quality um, or create habitat. So, uh, for example, we um, will do things like stream crossings, proper stream crossings for uh, livestock and equipment, and uh, we'll do planting projects, qu quite a range of projects. Uh, and we'll be talking about Andy Vollering's project here today, which is a really common project, which has to do with providing alternative watering for cattle. Speaking of Andy, let's go to him now. We got his project here behind us. Let's talk a little bit about that, Andy. What did you have done here? We had uh, the pond enlarged with the help of uh, the Environment Farm Plan. Uh, Ducks Unlimited was heavily involved, and uh, they made the project uh, very easy. They're good people to work with, and uh, you know, and it's a big help to the environment. You know, a big help for me too. Keep the cattle out of the mud, and you know, and. Now they have clean water all the time, which is a big plus for, especially with a calving season. So, uh, see all the insulation around it, keep yeah. the keep the frost out of it. Yeah. Is this something that you would recommend to other farmers? Oh, by all means, you know the keep the cattle out of water is a big thing today. You know, uh, our forefathers never thought it the big issue, but today, uh, with the environment situation, uh, everybody likes clean water and. Uh, the cattle do much better with clean water, and instead of walking into a pond and drinking dirty water, they stir up the mud, and now with clean water, they, they do a lot better. So We have the controls in here, battery to run the pump, and the controls, the charger. Mike, let's go to you now. You're with the Lakeland Alliance. How are you involved with this project? Sure, we're involved with the collaborative, uh, and what we've done is we've been able to, to manage to get some funding to contribute to uh, the payment or to, to help some of the farmers to get some of these projects completed. Uh, the Lakeland Alliance is uh, primarily uh, interested in improving the water quality of the lakes and rivers in Peterborough County and beyond. Uh, so that's why we were quite interested to help out with, uh, with some of these important projects on, on farm properties. Okay. Pat, if people want to find out more information, how can they do that? Um, well, we want them to know that the collaborative is alive and well, and so any farmers that are in Peterborough County, um, Northumberland, City of Kawartha Lakes, Durham, uh, we really encourage them to give us a ring, and they can call um, us at 705-743-7671 uh, and speak to Jay Adam, and he will take their information and pass it on to the members of the collaborative so we can s figure out how best to help them. All right. Well, thanks to all of you for joining me today. And we'll see you again next week on The Green Update. The Green Update is brought to you by the City of Peterborough Transportation Division. Reduce the impact of your commute by working from home one or two days a week. If you have any questions about today's episode of The Green Update, call Peterborough Green Up at 705-745-3238.